When recording your screen on iPad, there's a couple steps that you want to do. First is I am actually going to go down into my settings here and I'm going to make sure that it's enabled. So when I go to settings and generals up, right below general there is um, control center right here. So I'm going to tap on control center and then customize control. If you don't see screen recording up here, that means it's not currently enabled and it's going to be down here. So next to screen recording, I'm going to click on the green plus. Now we have enabled it and it's going to be in our control center. So I'm going to um, tap my home button one time. And from this upper right hand corner, I'm going to swipe down like that, just like that. And that's going to allow me to access my control center. Now here, you're going to normally see um, the button and it won't be grayed out. It's grayed out because I'm actually um, casting this. So I'm going to show you some pictures and walk you through the process to show you the final steps. Now what you want to do is you want to hold your finger on the record icon, the little circle, in the bottom left corner. Yours may be in a different spot. When you do that, it brings up the options here. You can either start recording or at the bottom, you can turn your microphone on and off. If you're doing a screencast, you wanna make sure that your microphone is on before you start. You can click out of that to get back to the menu. Now we are going to tap the uh, record button, not hold. This is going to start the recording process. You'll notice in the upper right hand corner, there's a little red uh, box with the record button in. That means it is live and active. When you have completed your screen recording, you wanna tap that button again, that little red button in the upper right hand corner, and that will bring up this message and you can click on stop. When you do that, you're going to notice that it pops up, a little um, notification pops up that says screen recording video saved into photos. From there, you can take it anywhere you'd like. You could upload it to YouTube. You could throw it in iMovie and put some music behind it. You could send it out on Seesaw Class Dojo. Um, or you could post it in your Google Classroom. So from there, uh, you can do whatever you'd like.